mind frames are okay. The frames are okay. Mind scene, okay. Yeah. Hi everybody. Hello everyone. How are you? So today, this is Hassan versus Hassan. <laughs> okay. One Hassan is going to go and switch off the fat. The other that will be me okay. because that's a younger Hassan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's good. So has everyone changed your phone to, I mean, in Instagram, have you changed it to landscape? That is how you can see us. Okay. Give us a thumbs up from, if you can, yeah. You ha, Some of them are messaging like this. <laughs> <laughs> so here is a no. So I've been doing this alone, but it, on day 17, are we on day 17? Um, yeah. 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 And our, uh, our discussion is going to be called Pecha Pucha. Pecha Pucha. So what is Pecha Pucha? We'll tell you a little later. Okay. So, hi Radha. <laughs> hi Hasni. How are you? Good, good, thank you. So we are locked down. Amma. You are also locked down. Amma. There is nothing that you can do. So you are stuck. So Stand to watch us. So Anu Hasan and Suhasni Hasan. <laughs> so here we are. I think the fan is not directed towards us. Wait, I'll be turning the yes. fan. Yes. Lot of fans waiting but this fan is not turning towards us. Yeah. Tilt up, talk tilt down. Tilt up. No, till down, till down. No, come close. Yeah, come. That's come, better. Come, sit, 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 sit. Come, sit. <laughs> so, good evening, everyone. Welcome to this Arate session with my sister Anu Hasan. Hello. What are you looking forward to, Radha? Me. Mm. After this, I'm hoping you give me some bajiba kora, some juice, some juice. <laughs> juice that uh, my juice. Yeah, I, I, I don't, and I'm giving it, giving, giving half of it. Okay. So, where shall we begin? Well, why not start at the beginning? beginning. Okay, let's a very start good place to start. Yeah. Okay. Huh. So let's start quite close to here. Not in the corner, five minutes to Amo, but we can't go now. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to go. So let's go to Eldam's Roadhouse, which is the Makal Nidhi Maya office, office today. Yeah. Yes. We have such great memories. Like this lockdown, Madri, uh, summer holidays, so that we'll also be locked down. All the house and children will be there. Let's see a bit about it. Tell me your view on, uh, your memory on So, I think that in Madrasa, in Madrasa, every summer holidays, I know you are coming to Madrasa. And Madrasa, one of the wonderful memories, I know you are all over. उरे रूम ले वो पढ़ के मैट से उन्हें तारे लोच पुटे लार मुंबला पढ़ते तू ये चुपों एंड ऑफ कोर्स वेरी वेरी स्पेशल मेमोरी है ना ना पेरी माय ना कुंदे ये ना तीन ले ऑल द चिल्ड्रन ये ना नारियों पेर रूपों में ले लार को सेंड सामने चिल्ड्रन लार कुंडी आते सुल्ते मोटा मारी के लार भी कुट no, don't turn the camera then. It's okay. It's okay. You're still there. No, the framing as a cinematographer. Oh, oh, oh as a cinematographer, my sister and Abby. Yeah, I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Now my no, sister happy. 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 Even now there is one wire. Can you pull this little that side? That wire. Wire alone. Wire, wire. Hey. Pull the wire. This wire. Either wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's okay. Now it's gone. There you go. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'll keep my distance. That's how my sister is. Yeah. So, sorry, sorry. I'm like nine years older to her. This is how I feel. <laughs> But she's talking about Kuta and Jor and uh, all the beds being put together, you know, one after the other. We slept like, what, army? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Old like it used to be there. But what we used to be amused was we had that old TV. This TV, yeah, <laughs> black and white. Five-year-old, six-year-old's opinion, or ten-year-old's opinion. You know, for me, she was my goddess. 
this. <laughs> she liberated me. I have my own opinion. I said today rasa. Today good. Today togel. And I want potato fry. <laughs> But that goddess, you know what happened? Yeah. Once uh, Nirmal when she called her, oh, Perima, that is Perima is her mother. Perima Nirmal is, is her brother. Nirmal is my elder brother. Nirmal Hassan is the person. So Nirm my brother went and told my mother, Abba, you know Perima, Perima is like, I'm going to do it. 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 But I have such great memories. But you know, after Paramahari, we moved to Madurai for a year to go to school and college. This child, nice roly poly beautiful child went to gori palayam with my mother my mother comes back with theory eyes because you know budget e or 500 rupees tha irukum or 50 rupees work or periya glass jar madam odichitaanga idhu varaiku unga appa maam sollave illa amma enni enni 50 rupees you know that was her entire month provisions cost so that was gone that is never like you you very welcome see these are all life less life lessons today we learn it out since we have the green thing that uh, nobody can go out so uh, i am fellow kannan comes and uh, you know requesting us can i buy grocery for you so i remember you come <laughs> up breaking that and i give him little little money and buy little little grocery so beautiful ah, i have to tell this about uh, uh, you came to film institute and one of oh. my friends came and spoke to you and what did he say one of my classmates one of his uh, one of our colleagues came and said you are so beautiful i love you will you marry me <laughs> my reaction was like right i wonder who it is uh, all radha's friends all all anu's followers this is how she was she proposed even when she was some 10 years old okay so don't propose to her no uh, she will dispose you <laughs> so uh, that was in the film institute but i have this wonderful memory after i started acting in films yeah. I, was, i was acting in my first uh, kannada film all kannada speaking people will know bandana ee bandana janam janam da bandana that film we were shooting in mysore <laughs> so she had come with her brother nirmal so i was there in one room three rooms after that was the room for the two of them <laughs> so how do you go from one room to the other normally how do people go through the balcony archa <laughs> <laughs> you walk through the corridor and knock and get in this one will only suddenly i see her in the balcony she will jump from her balcony 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 to this you know why she liked the balcony tell me why she liked it because the neighbors had dogs okay and there were six or seven dogs and she wanted to talk to them and i always talk to them and you know how you have to talk to dogs you have to be friendly you must know all languages respect all languages including dog language so i used to say and they all talk to me the dogs will look at her and suddenly from there from the balcony some child will go and then she'll go and this will go we are all barking mad that's what we are oh my god oh my god but i remember this ice cream from that shop called michael oh yes I, you know, I was a grammatic woman. This one is one city Peter. convent. Yeah, Peter. 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 Uh, you know, English medium. No, now the one the Russian and Kerala way. We are pretty well. They are all pretty chill. Go and then she will be speaking in like what we English. Now that they, they, she takes me or her father and mother. They take me to this beautiful place called Michael's, where they will play all the best music. Oh my God! Oh yes, and uh, Lobo, and the Prama, and the Beatles, and Bee Gees, and Abba. Abba. Shall we remember one of the songs? Do uh, you remember any song? Uh, They all want to hear. Abba, shall we sing Abba? Yeah. Let's uh, sing. Simple, na takne. Shall we sing? Can you hear the drums? Fernando. Fernando. Okay, Fernando. Okay, are you ready? 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 Can you hear the drums, Fernando? I remember long ago another starry night like this in the firelight, Fernando. Strumming, strumming your guitar. I and could hear a distant roll of drums and bugle calls were coming from afar. There was something in the air at night. The stars were bright, Fernando. They were shining up for you and me, for liberty, Fernando. Though we never thought that we could lose, there's no regret. Michael will be very proud. I know. All the ice cream 
<laughs> singing such nice Peter songs, acting in movies, <laughs> directing movies, producing movies. Now locked inside and <laughs> talking to people, and they have no no <laughs> choice. <laughs> so we made a film. So how do you all remember Anu? How do you all remember Anu? Do you remember her as Indra? A lot of people used to come and ask me, how is your sister Indra? <laughs> I'm like, who's my sister? Who? My heroine Indra. So how did you become my heroine? Do you remember? Actually, I remember, I have narrated this incident before. I remember I was in Pune working in human resources. I was in a phone uh, booth when she called me because Apala, we didn't have mobile phones. Yeah. So she called me, um, I called her back from a phone booth. And she said, listen Radha, I'm going to be directing a movie. I'd like you to come for a screen test. My reaction was, ah, I don't like acting at all. I don't want to act. And her response was, I'm not asking whether you want to act or not. I want to see whether you can act. Yeah. Full Rosham happened. I said, what rubbish. I'm coming for the screen test. Yeah. And then I land up for the screen test. Me also, with Rosham, I'm going to change my angle. I'm not having what this pay? angle. It is like looking at the ceiling. So I wanted oh, to look at us. Oh, okay, now I think it's better. So, when did I get, a, get an idea that this girl can be my heroine? Okay? There are so many younger, uh, you know, talented heroines who were all there. I could have easily taken any of them, but I wanted somebody fresh. So what happened was at that time, my Chitapa Chandra Hassan, he asked me to come for a function to uh, Trichy Trichy. Yeah. So I come by train. Yeah. So what happens? This girl comes in a nice sari. The function, no, she has to wear a sari. So she comes in the railway station to pick me up. So yeah. what people look at her and say, what? They look at her and uh, look at me and say, hey, 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 Hasnida, Swasnida. So, <laughs> so she comes and says, somebody called me Swasnida. So yeah, <laughs> you look so much like me. Okay, that's good. Is it a compliment or an answer? To you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so she comes down and we say hello, okay. And then, then I come out. And then, say, Suhasi, here you come, 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 and then both of us come out together, and say, Suhasi, real life, double action, double action, double action, Suhasi, double action. That's when I saw this girl as a woman, and I was really, really happy the way she looked. So I spotted her in a train, and I called her, and then we did a screen test. Uh, she also qualified in another, another uh, task that I thought about. Uh, you all have seen Acha Macha Malay song, Ilya. I wanted a girl who could draw the Indian map without taking a hand off. It should be in her memory. The country, the yellow, mm -hmm. the border, uh, the borders should be in, etched in her memory. And she's able to do that. Can you show them how you did it? <laughs> so I said, she finished. In 10 seconds, she finished drawing the Indian map. So she was qualified. <laughs> So what did we do? We took her to Shorano in Kerala. You know, Arvind is there, Nazar is there, Ashwini is there, Santosh Sivan is there, everybody is there. What do we do? We put makeup for her and put Davani. Right. She never was, she was always like top and voice like this, but gave a nice, you know, half sari and all that. <laughs> and made her sit. No shot for two days. Oh, why? Remember? <laughs> because for your formula lecture, ma, please behave yourself. <laughs> so otherwise, I'm like striding up and down wearing jeans and shoes. Now they gave me a half sari and they made me wear all these feminine clothes and they made me wear makeup. And I used to ask her, can I take this off? Can I take all the makeup? <laughs> and she said, no, wear it and stay. <laughs> yeah. And then nail polish, put it on. What will she say? Rubbish. I said, <laughs> one more time, if I hear the word rubbish, you will be rubbish. I'm a little, I told her, keep quiet. No rubbish. See, I'm director, no? so I have to be very, very strict with her. And then, uh, what happened was, we had a lovely scene, okay, uh, where she sings this song, Acha Macha Pillai, and uh, the father walks out of it half, halfway through, so the mother is asking, you didn't uh, compliment her at all. What do you do? What do you do? You don't want to say anything about it. 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 So, because we were in a village and we did not have proper places, we didn't have caravans in those days. So, they just put us in some uh, uh, one, one shed kind of a thing. No, 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 kitchen. The kitchen, eh? yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I went inside to change. Just as I was about to change, I see this fellow peeping through the window. And I said, Die now, I said, oh, this, I mean, she asked me, What happened? I said, He's probably so like, thinking, One so like, Yella Pathate, Yella Pathate. <laughs> <laughs> so he's changing. And he 
she said he said what does he even want to say whatever but there is our imagination so how crazy <laughs> <laughs> what are your indra memories but uh, yeah indra for me was a very very intense experience because um at that time whatever emotion i had to uh, show for the camera i had to feel so if i had to cry i had to feel really sad which meant after i cried it took me time to get out of that intense sad abhi abhi gana to did it push me down the sadness so it was a very intense experience of course now i know how to switch it on and switch it off but at that time i didn't know and, um uh, yeah what about the romantic scenes okay <laughs> she saw arvind swami she says i really like you he looks exactly like my brother i said i yo <laughs> I I don't know what is it looks just like my brother no she said what <laughs> we're supposed to be romantic about him you should be passionate with him not look at him like a brother and I told her look this girl is completely confused please sit next to her and say nice things to her in her ears did he say it? yeah yeah but except that during rehearsal i you know on the during thoda thoda malandara in a shot in the monitor i threw off a cigarette he was very angry with me because i really threw the cigarette he said monitor da ne edukku thooki potta adina so then again i remembered then it was very much like brother scolding but then of course we decided to and we had one scene where there was a rock and i told radha suddenly from the rock you should just slide down and go and he had to follow her and say what about my bum my bum is safe down and what about my bum it's all so what is wrong with you people <laughs> Hello, and he would say, "Ah, Hasni, 
Chance Road, what do you remember about Kamal? Ayyo, ayyo. My, 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 my very positive memories of him was Yella Bin Bimayam. I used to love because some, during summer holidays when I came back, Every day when he used to come back from shooting, he used to be in a different getup. Yeah. I used to love it because one day he'll have this dark afro look, then he'll have this village look, and then he'll be this posh look. Yeah. Uh, I used to love it, but I used to be petrified of him. Yeah. Now he's petrified. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. You are, you are line producer, and you are like a, a you know partner's daughter. And, you I know. know. I know. <laughs> so your relationship with Kamal? Oh, that's very. Uh, so um, I'm just telling how this. Um, the, uh, you, you would have all seen in the video in uh, television where uh, Kamal speaks about how he's called FB as in first born, mm -hmm. referred to first born by Appa. I'll tell you how that first came about. So this was during Mumbai Express filming and I was the, I'm the line producer and there was some conflict that happened and you know how it is, tempers are fly, flying high and there are arguments or something and then we had an argument. And then uh, I go upstairs to the room and I said, but why did you say like that? And then he said, if you think I'm going to pussy put around your feelings, don't think that's going to happen. We are not like regular uh, timid person, no? So we said, well, if you want pussyfoot around my feeling, then I'm not going to pussyfoot around yours. I'm going to stand there. Immediately he says, oh really? Is that how you talk to me? And he goes out, slams the door, I get up. Both of us grab our phone. But both of us dial. And I have a on speed dial. He has a punk, he has to dial the number. But I have speed dial. What are they called? He's being so mean to me. He's showing it. So Appa says, one minute, Ma, and I'll just talk to him and then I'll call you back. Now after about five minutes, then Kamal comes back. Then he says, Na, I thought you were very strong. Why are you crying like this? <laughs> he says, I said, yeah, because you're so mean to me. <laughs> and then he says, ah, okay. And then the next thing he says is, Unga Appa, you know, I'm first born. He says, okay, you be my father's first born. Then I told Appa, it was from that day, way back in 2004, that we started referring to him as FB. So Appa used to tell me yeah. that, okay ma, I have a meeting with FB ma. I was going to take it over. which was a child, yeah. I remember, all of us used to be sleeping with my grandmother. Yeah. Geeta is uh, reminding us of that. Uh -huh. All of us used to be sleeping. And we keep the door slightly open for the air to come in. Like now, if a corona cross ventilation, mm -hmm. we cross ventilation. We'll go. We'll all be there and suddenly we'll find a ghost. <laughs> with a torch light and one poor wear. <laughs> Kamal, full. <laughs> we all like go and hug her, and she'll come and open the door, and she'll be like, "Oh, my God, we'll be reading a newspaper or something like that." And then we'll all sit, and suddenly this ghost will come. Find, find her. Geeta is reminding us of that. Okay, I think too many memories. Memories, lots of memories. Yeah, yeah, lots yeah. of memories. Okay, we have come to the main uh, page, Kucha. Page, Kucha. So this is a Japanese uh, presentation. Uh, usually the PowerPoint uh, slide presentation is very boring. So this is uh, 20, 2020. 2020. Okay. So Pecha Pucha is always 20 slides and each slide has to stay only for 40 seconds. Mm. So on the, on the method, yes. we will have a discussion right now. Yeah. I just read a joke today. In the lockdown period, every day, it's a slow, boring test match. <laughs> And sadly, ironically, <laughs> the year is 2020. The year is 2020, but all of us are 21 days. We are playing a test match <laughs> with white dress and all that. Not color. <laughs> uh, the ball is red. It's not even white. Okay, so this is how we are. So Pecha Kucha. So this is Pecha. That is Pecha. Okay. <laughs> it's a Japanese word, okay? And uh, Kritika Subramanyam is the one who introduced me to it. I'm sure she's watching it today or she'll watch it even tomorrow. Thank you, Kritika. I'm stealing your ideas. Uh, so the kucha. the kucha is going to ask the Pecha. Okay. Okay. You, you have 40 seconds. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you. Okay. Um, your topic is city life versus small town life. Ooh. You know, I'm not the one much for nature, you know, because probably everything was nature and things like that. So I wanted to stay in a small apartment. Everybody told me, how can you hate nature? Because I think for me, the city was so, so fantastic. Yeah. But you won't believe it. Whatever memories I have of my life is only from my child uh, birth, uh, birth, birth to till the time I was 13 years old. I don't have any memory of my life after that. All my memories are from the time I was in the village. So I'm so happy that I have best of both worlds. I'm going to you know, in municipality school. From there to come to Chennai and to go international and to go to Plaman and all that. 
But my roots are always there in the Madras. But having said that, I love the city. I love city life. I love city people. The drive that city people have is amazing, amazing, amazing. For seconds? For go what? Go one seconds. Okay, now you're right. Oh, me, huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. What? What? Yes. The only international artist in this family is Ta da! Anuradha Hassan! Before Mani or Shruti or Akshara or Ma, uh, Kamal <laughs> could act or could produce a Hollywood film or an international film, she is acting in BBC series. <laughs> so I want to ask you how, what is the difference between acting in Indian films and Indian television and uh, doing a BBC uh, in London? So, one thing is in India, they know who you are and they come and ask you, this is a role and we'd like you to do it, they approach you. It's the other way around. You know what the role is in the UK. You have to audition for every role. They don't care who you are, what your surname is. You come and you audition. So when I go, when I went there for the first time, it was very unnerving because 25 years, people know who I am. And then I go there, nobody knows who I am. And there are people who are first timers and I am there and we are all on the same platform. We are on the same level. Nobody is treating us differently. So the first thing that happens is you get rid of your ego. It's very clear that if you're acting, you have to have the capability. The other thing is, uh, I don't know how it is, it's been a while since I acted here. There, we get our scripts, pakka scripts, within about one week before the shoot, and every artist knows their dialogue, 100%. And we do a full run-through of the scene, then we do a cast show, then we have a uh, crew show, then we do the, uh, the scene, so it's like... Yeah. It's very, very nice. But the typecasting is not just in uh, no. uh, India. Like, Anu Hasan Nabi, you are a full of a strong minded person who will be leadership qualities of the Marine. Angi, you are a full of the Nanti. I am Auntie Kamila. Auntie Kamila. Auntie Farida. I am a Farida. Indian would be a good So, So, what are the problems that Auntie Farida faced in the cultural exchange, the cultural problems that you Well, actually, Auntie Farida. Uh, I just realized that their interpretation of how an Asian family is is representative of how Asian families were in the 60s. Mm. Right? I know how Asian families are now mm. and how we would react and how a, an older auntie would react. It, so I used to find it very, very uh, difficult because I say, but, but this is not real. You know, this is not how it is. But they don't want to portray that. So I always felt that mm. there was... There were, uh, you know... The you know, we are not used to intimate scenes and all that. So, <laughs> so there was one incident. Uh, I was working in a series called EastEnders on BBC. A pretty, pretty big role. And uh, what they did was they wrote a scene in which uh, there is a nice lip lock. <laughs> oh, like that. She's so, not okay. She's still a Look at this. Look at my face. <laughs> so, so, what happened is, I looked at the script and said, Hey, kiss her. So, I called up my agent and I said, um, I'm not really comfortable doing that. And I have a fine. Agent. She's like really ama amazing. Uh, Jane, much love to you. Um, so, uh, so she said, look, uh, you know, this, this will, if you want to do these kind of things, it might limit the scope of the role. Why don't you talk to your family? So I call her Nancy. That is Nandini, her elder sister. My sister. And uh, she says, huh? do it now. Then her daughter says, huh? who are you kissing? Oh, he's a good looking guy. Hey, do it now. Hey? I said, then I call my father. My father is nearly 80 at that time. Okay, I call him up. So, I know, they have like written a kissing scene. Um, are you, Appa's question, are you worried about what I would think? And I said, nah, uh, well, he said, look, that's your job. You have to do it and forget it and carry on. Then he, I paused and he said, are you worried about what Amma will think? And I said, um, he said, will you come on Sun TV? She's not going to see it. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately, I did. So, 40 I seconds see. over, but in that little extension, mm. the same uh, BBC, you shift it to Polaj. Oh no, no, I can't see. Okay? Toda, toda, mala, da, da, da. I had one shot in between where she will be continuously talking. That <laughs> Indra will be talking. So, Arvind character saying, keep quiet, keep quiet. And he won't, she, she won't keep quiet. So, what he does is he holds her and kisses her. Okay? He kisses her, and what happens to her is she faints. Because that's the first time she's ever been kissed in her life. So, she faints, and then he takes water and everything. And she starts crying, and then he says, Bah, what is this, son? You know, that was supposed to be the romantic scene. So, I was explaining the scene to her. Okay? This is like how doctors give injections to kids. Nan injection kota, when I get pretty well, I go, and then he says, Suruk. Every good to my Suruk. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Surat. By the time the injection is done, you know, like that. 
So I was telling her about the scene, you know, there is a kissing scene, after that you faint. So she forgot about the kissing scene, she thought only about the fainting. Oh, how to act fainting? Uh, she's never done it before, no? So she concentrated on that and forgot about the <laughs> So the scene was done. <laughs> of course, nice distance, you know, real life. Uh, well, yeah, nobody comes anywhere close. Nobody does. Okay. It is quite a far. The head goes like this, like that. Uh -huh. the kiss and the camera is at an angle where it looks as if there's contact, but there isn't. But anyway, the scene was not. So what did you do after that? <laughs> After that smoochie scene, I am really crying. She made me cry. Yeah. So now your turn to ask her. <laughs> okay. So for you, Pecha Kucha, ask Pecha. The Kucha is asking the Pecha. Pecha with Pecha fight. Fan versus celebrity Pecha. <laughs> okay. So there are many fans here. It's always, you know, it's dicey. We don't know how to deal with our fans. I grew up with Kamal, who was a, like a super, super, super star. <laughs> so sometimes when we had the two wheeler. Mm. He will only have to test drive. Of so course. from here, from Eldam Road, we go to TDA Road and come back. So I am sitting behind, he is sitting in front. And we are driving the two-wheeler. One girl, good looking girl comes around. And she's shocked because she cannot see a superstar driving on Luna. You know, <laughs> Luna in Looney. So whatever. So she saw this and she's like that. And Kamal said, no, 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 no. He's like that and he used to laugh. And then, one day I still remember, you know what she did, the crowd was so much close, they pushed Kamal and me, I was a little girl, into a room and said, wait for some time till we clear the crowd. So when Kadala went to the wall, she sat like, you know, sir. Kamal said, sir, 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 Now, 
so that kind of stimulates the part of my you know uh, of me and uh, i i like the different challenges because some is creative and you you are creative in a, a corporate world and you bring the business skills into the creative world so i like those two uh, you know the kind of the very smart girl most of the thing that she says i don't understand to do smart you got to report but in cheap party get one can do i am very good at that
I am not a good one. Uh, you should have married somebody <laughs> smart from Madras who can speak English, who wears, uh, uh, you know, uncut rubies and wears cotton sarees and does crossword. I am a misfit. He said, shut up and let's go and eat good food. So we went out and ate good food and today we will marry for 32 years. Oh, I know. That's my opinion. <laughs> now, okay, traveling solo. What is this about you traveling? You want to do a travel log and you did also. Yeah. And you travel solo. Yes. So traveling solo, I think it is an allusion to both uh, your holidays as well as life. Uh, because I travel solo in life at the moment and uh, it's fine. It's not um, as difficult and I think the most important thing is we need to be comfortable with ourselves. We need to be comfortable being by ourselves. Ultimately, okay, sorry about this too much tatwa, but I think ultimately all of us are alone. Yeah, and absolutely. all of us are alone and saying that, oh my God, I'm alone, I'm alone, alone is not going to change the fact. I think the most important thing is to love your own company. If you can love your own company, be happy in your own company, life is good. And if you can, if you are like that, traveling on your own is great fun. So I've gone to, uh, I've gone to Angkor Wat, Cambodia, I've gone to uh, Cyprus, I've gone to Romania, I've gone to all kinds of places. And I'm happy which is a kind of mood it are you. Wherever my finger lands, I will go. So, so when the days go or other, you can't even think of traveling to well, now, now from home to bathroom to kitchen to people <laughs> like how that joke yes. goes. Yeah, and then uh, seven days of the week. Today, this day, Amma, Dad called my mother. I said, I want to make summer. So she gave me a recipe. <laughs> another day. Another day. Another day. Another day. So, Yet another day. Yet another day. Yes. So that is what is going to be. So I think we have come to the end of Pecha Pucha. Yes. The last one. Yes. It is open to both of us. Pecha can say, Pucha can say. Pecha can say. No, Pecha, I am Pucha. Oh, yeah, Pecha. Oh, yes. Pecha, Pecha can say, Pucha, Pucha can, can also say. Okay, what's that? So this is about social medias plus and biases. Yes. Mm -hmm. You go first. Um, see, I been using social media only for my NGO and also for my uh, film festival. I think we can reach out to a lot of people. But I have to say, social media saved us at a lot of times. Mm -hmm. For example, when Nandan was studying in Edinburgh, doing his uh, MA, uh, there was a lot of snow and he couldn't ca catch the flight back to India uh, in winter. Mm -hmm. So what he did was he got a train. What happened was, uh, the train that on the mail recommend, the electric train, the power, power cable, froze. Yeah. The power cable froze. Yeah. So they stopped at one station and they disconnected the power, which means it's minus 20 inside the train and they were all stuck. Mm. And uh, from the dining car, they gave them all uh, aluminium foils to cover oh, yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah, so they were all covered with aluminium foil and he was calling me saying that, Amma, there are a lot of older people around, all of them are falling down. I don't know if they're fainting or if they're actually dying. It's very, very scary. It was like 9 o'clock in the night and I didn't know what to do. And he said, my charge is also going away. I don't know what to do. So I just put it on Facebook. And somebody saw it and called my uh, sister and sister's daughter. So they drove. Yeah. And I went and saw him and, you know, made sure that, uh, you know, he was taken care of. So you tell your story. I'm just going to open the door for sunlight to come. Okay. The sunlight comes in so beautiful here. So for, for me, social media has always been um, a, a channel where we can get positivity out. And I've always wanted to use... Uh, that as a channel to send out good messages, happy messages and remind uh, your, uh, all the people who are there as well as myself that there are small things in life, there are small things that you can enjoy, small things give us joy and happiness and uh, people who follow me on uh, Insta and Facebook know my tagline, right? keep your life sunny side up. So I've used it, so the positive is that I wake up every day in the morning and I see such wonderful messages. Somebody says, you know, in, today I saw your happy post and I felt very happy. I think that's great. If you can positively influence even a handful of people, I think that is a great achievement in life. And I think social media is a powerful tool. So for your writing also, you, you've written a book. Yes. You're an author. I think you're the only author in the family. Oh dear, no. no very yes, also. yes, yes. My father has also written books. So, you know, the writer. So how does, you know, writing a book and to reach people about your writing, how does it help? So at that time when I wrote the book, I wasn't very active on social media. So th this was way back in 2013 that the book came out. I was just about beginning and I didn't really understand how to use it. But now I'm going to be writing my second book and I'm thinking of making it as a particular, as a complete chain of events 
there'll be a book, there'll be events, there'll be, you know, probably something and some giveaways and some uh, other ideas that we are thinking. And all of this can be concert, uh, you know, orchestrated on social media. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's how we use it. Okay, the social media, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the negatives? Uh, negatives is that uh, since we are from a very, very popular family, uh, our own friends seem to write or post some messages which are very, very hurtful, hurtful, yeah. very, very unpleasant. When you see that, you know, your day is completely spoiled. And no, I don't know what to do. And my husband says, why are you on social media? Come out of it. I don't think that's the answer. No. See, social media is for everybody. So uh, we are letting you be on social media. Why won't you let us be on social media? No, I think... Why are you driving us away? But you know why? I think people forget that uh, a person who is in the public eye is also a daughter, a wife, yeah. you know, a sister, a mother. They forget all those. They only see the actor, the director, and they think they can say anything they want. Even, in fact, I had on my uh, personal profile one of my friends that posted something quite offensive. And I said, listen, you can have an opinion about our acting ability, directing ability, whether we look nice, all that you can have. But about our personal, anything personal, that is not anything that you have any right to be commenting upon. I don't want to see it on my feet. You know, so that's a negative. And somehow that message doesn't seem to get across all that well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for example, my father is writing on Facebook. He's 90 years old. He writes, he has a right to write whatever he wants. He has a right to express what he wants. The reactions for it. You like it, you say you like it. If you don't like it, oh, I'm not happy about this. You go away. You cannot... Abuse him. You cannot abuse him. He's a 90 year old man. Come on. You cannot abuse an 80 nine, 9 year old girl and you cannot abuse a 90 year old man also. Yeah. It breaks my heart and it's so easy for me to say, Appa, stop writing. I don't want people abusing But that's people. stifling him, isn't it? Yeah, he has his freedom and who are you to stop all that? So, my Twitter account is also locked. So, so many comments saying that who are you to lock your account? I am locking my account for people like you who are asking me, why are you locking me? <laughs> oh, for you. Even, uh, you know, in uh, Instagram I keep saying, you know, uh, when we are talking something serious, you can't say what is the face cream that you use, <laughs> what is the hair oil. It's very important. Hair oil is very, very important. We'll talk about it later. But there is a time and place for it. No, but I tell you another thing also that happens. So, I think uh, I have a very amusing story to share. So, uh, I have a lot of people being insensitive on my Facebook and I normally, or Insta, and I normally try to um, help them realize that, you know, is this really the way you want to be talking kind of thing. I had a 70 year old woman come <laughs> on my Facebook and that also, I have Excuse done Excuse me, I'll be soon 70 year old, don't say 70 year old. You'll be nice, you'll be nice 70 year old. I'll be nice 70 year old, I'll be nice 80, I'll be a nice 90, I'll be a nice 100, I'll be a nice 100. And that also, I've done a memory video for Appa. Appa's no more. And on that, she comes and makes some hardcore comment about why I'm not traditional or something. Very, and then the last one is, I mean, so <laughs> my response was, yes, because I know how to be kind and courteous. Therefore, I am a pundit. What about you? <laughs> I said, you know, so you, you kind of, did. but the funniest thing that I did was, I went and found who her son was and I complained to, to him. I think in the history of this whole, the first time the son must be getting a complaint that his mother is badly behaved. <laughs> See, let's finish the social media thing on a higher note. Uh, okay. Uh, when we did the Ravi Verma calendar, oh, something yes. opened up. So we did it for NAM, for single women, for their education, children's education and for their health. And we did that Ravi Verma calendar, which was so beautifully shot by Vintagram. He's agreed to come tomorrow a day after. Oh, that's good news. That's tomorrow a day after, he's going to tell me. Uh, I have to write an article for him. Quickly after that, he'll say yes. <laughs> and then I have to say, your poster for you. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say, she's been designing all the posters. The digital posters. Thank you, Radha. Thank you, Asmi. I enjoyed it. All my designer friends will be holding their head in agony. Every but okay. day. Every day. Two, two, she... So, 17, she's designed 34 so far. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. So, uh, with Ravi Verma calendar, I realized the reach of Instagram yes. and uh, Facebook. The positivity is fabulous. It, the positivity is so, so wonderful. And Chamundi Shuri being there, all the artists being there. And it was so fabulous. My whole concept of social media changed after Ravi Verma. In, in fact, Parul and Jinu from Instagram contacted me. And they said, this is the best traction that we've had, positive traction we've had in Instagram. It kind of bridged the generation gap. 
you know, Insta, everybody thought they are young, they are into fun and you know, uh, games and things like that. But they were into tradition, they were into culture, they were into art, beauty, and beauty and class. So they were so happy. So that that is the brighter side of social media. Yeah. No, no, for me it's uh, I, these are all you know one-off things. For me, it's all there are lots of you wonderful people on Facebook and Insta and I love the way you all play with me. That tomato face which everyone uh, calls me, I just love it. <laughs> 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 tomato <laughs> face after my exercise okay. and the way they play. Kucha, stop, says Pecha. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought you were showing biceps. Okay. Kucha says, stop. So, uh, Radha is a beautiful singer. So, I want her to sing a song. Oh, Before yeah. that, we'll say our goodbyes to everybody. Because after that, Instagram will go off. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in four minutes, in four minutes. Get cut off. So, okay. sing a song, that is exactly four minutes. Oh, okay. Wish for you. Yeah. Uh, which is what I sang at the Ravi Verma calendar launch. Yes. So, I'm going to sing the same song. <clears throat> it's a beautiful song. Good, great lines. A sudden sun that paints the tie-dyed sky A feathered bed, an ancient lullaby Kiss goodnight from one whose love is true That's the kind of day I wish for you First love with all its storms Raging like fire Tossing your heart to chance You swear the dance will never end But then it does And someone says goodbye And after all those empty nights you cry Morning next you wake up good as new that's the kind of day I wish for you.